was going to bring props and I thought we we're going to be in like a situation where there's lots of people and maybe there wouldn't be enough props to go around and we'd end up fighting and I thought maybe not. So um, I actually developed this as a CPD for um, our science department um, but I was thinking about it and I thought actually it can be applied across um, all subjects and uh, across all the key stages because fortunately or unfortunately however you look at it tests are a big part of what we do at the moment. Um, and I asked this question, how did you revise at school, to quite a lot of um, students who were, who were revising for their, their exams at our school. And um, they kind of said, I read through things and read again and read again. And I said, OK, but think about what, what lessons do you find that you revise best in? And they said, oh, well, we played this game and it was brilliant and I really learnt loads. And I said, OK, so why are you then revising by just reading things? It obviously doesn't work for you. You work best or you revision works best for you when you are um, playing a game or when, you, when you're using something to trigger those memories. So um, we uh, had a little uh, look, we were trying to get the children to think about um, what constitutes a good answer and what the examiner would be looking for and what their success criteria would be. So the first thing they had to do, we gave them all a Maltese and we said, OK, describe this Maltese. You've got to write it down, describe Maltese. That was all we said. We didn't give them anything else for that. We just said, describe Maltese. After they'd done their description, we, we swapped with the person next to them and they had to mark each other's answers. Again, we didn't give them anything to mark with. They just had to give a mark and that was that. Um, gave them mark out six and gave them a level. Again, they didn't, they didn't know what the criteria was. So then we asked them this question, how did you know what the, the assessment criteria was? Were we looking for a descriptive answer? Were we looking for a creative writing piece? Were we looking for it being very scientific, very mathematical? Um, if I was doing this question, I'd say, OK, it's got a circumference of this, it's this, this colour, it's got a layer of chocolate that's this thick. Um, whereas somebody maybe from the English department might have said, use very descriptive words that I can't do, um, and being very creative about it. So. They then thought, oh, right, OK, so it really matters what the examiner's looking for in that particular question. And then we took this and we went and looked at exam papers and examiner's comments and what they were actually looking for. And it made the children really think about what was required for them for an answer. Um, the other one that I like to do, and just a quick another idea, um, kind of bringing more props into it, is using something, a visual aid, or just something that gets them thinking and gets them... Uh, linking different topics together for their revision. So one thing I like to I like all of these things are based on food. I use food a lot in my lessons. The kids love it, the staff not so much. Um, so I do a biscuit timeline where we're doing evolution and I start off and I give them a selection pack of biscuits and they've got to order them in uh, terms of the evolution of the biscuit. So they start with the most primitive biscuit and then they move on to what developed after that. What did a chocolate layer develop? Where did gold foil come into it if, the, if there's a biscuit wrapped in foil? Um, so they have to put them in order in, in terms of their ev evolutionary timeline. And then from that, we can take, if you do, we did that at the beginning of a revision session and then they had to speak about natural selection and evolutionary timeline, how fossils are made, um, inheritance, genetics, all that kind of thing led on from that. And it was a really good starting point because it got them thinking. And I didn't say what the topic was going to be. I said, OK, put these biscuits in order. Now tell me what topics these relate to. Um, so this was just an idea. Hopefully you can take something concrete away from this and just use an idea of um, using props to get them started. And, it, and as I say, we do have a lot of tests in our culture at the moment, which is fortunate or unfortunate, depending on how you look at it. And hopefully you've just got a couple of ideas there maybe to use. Thank you very much.